This is Wembley, home to one of IKEA's flagship stores. By day, it's teeming with thousands of shoppers. But tonight, it'll be invaded by a different kind of customer. I guess we thought, well, let's do an experiment. Mm -hmm. it's, let's, let's take 100 cats, release them in IKEA, and let's actually do it for real at night when the stores close, um, and let's see what happens. They might do nothing, mm -hmm. they might run and hide under shelves, uh, they might have one massive fight. It's, it's a crazy idea, but the whole point of the idea is, you know, interesting. Without a matter of cats, it's unpredictable, and that's why we're doing it. This is Buzz. He's currently, uh, he's my baby boy. It's okay. called Boggle. This is Mr. B. Batpool's devilish desires. These are not specially trained film cats. <laughs> no one knew what they would do, but their owners had some idea. We're trying to find a couch potato scene for him, so something to do with the living room. Buzz is going to be a, an investigator. He'll look for the highest area of the building. Dottie likes sitting on top of very tall units. A team of animal handlers were on set, along with five film crews to catch all the action. They went into every little hole, every <laughs> crevice, every dark bit, which is great because we also had with us, we had a night vision infrared camera, mm -hmm. which gives you, you know, these, these lovely shots when, when the cats went right into the dark corners under the bed, we could still capture them. Go, cats, go! Go! Whoa, stop, 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 stop! I knew it would be very difficult. So, yeah, we prepared for it, but it's just... Every shot is different, um, and we've got to just seal it every single time. If they can jump over this, there's something seriously wrong with these things. And the cats. They're barnet cats. Uh, we've lost a cat in behind. It basically climbed over, jumped down. Um, but we know it's in there. The problem is it's too narrow for somebody to actually physically get down in there. We think we might have to cut a hole through the wall. <laughs> Good, here we go. Carry on then. That's a fighting. Yeah, come on, boy. I can see how it's a stressful you know, job working with animals. Cats are independent, so they don't really listen to us. They do what they want. Their characters have really come out, you know. It's quite amazing how territorial the biggest stud cats are, but the kittens are just playful and just happy to be out, having a nose around and having a day out, you know. This is Leo himself, who's been investigating ladies' drawers, cupboards. I thought he was going to be a bit more shy, shyer than what he is, but he's come out of a shell. Finally, they had everything needed, and IKEA was returned to normal. Soon, shoppers will stream through the doors again, unaware that half an hour before, a hundred felines were roaming free in the shop. You know, all that rubbish about working with children and animals, I don't know where they get that from whatsoever. Mm.